on the way to the airport now. <laughs> so off we go. We started our journey with a four-hour flight from Amsterdam to Gran Canaria, one of the seven islands of the Spanish archipelago of Canary Island, just off the northwest coast of Africa in the Atlantic Ocean. So here is where you have to drop off your bike luggage, you go check in and then you have to bring it here <laughs> to the room. Dun, dun, dun. of the island we are gonna try to tackle today the valley of deer probably one of the most epic climbs on the island so but we have to go first uh, there so we have to cross the island from the east all the way to the west so it will be around 144 kilometers with a 4200 meters of elevation climb of elevation gain yeah so a lot of climbing to do so it's time to start let's go the island there were already some steep climbs to conquer. volcanic island as a result of many eruptions over centuries. It's very mountainous with no many flat roads so make sure to bring enough gears to tackle the steep climbs. center of Gran Canaria is all above the clouds, reaching on our first climb 1,680 meters above sea level.
Following GC600, we reach Roquenublo, the rock in the clouds, one of the most iconic places on the island and considered one of the biggest natural cracks in the world. Time to descend from the clouds through the twisty roads of Gran Canaria to sea level. No McDonald's around, but a lovely Canary Island shop to get some refuel of M&M's, Lay's and sneakers, of course. Energy for the car. So warm, huh? On the way to La Aldea de San Nicolás, we bump into Los Azulejos, a geological formation that looks like a painting on the walls of the mountain, formed as a result of constant eruptions of the Tejeda volcano, resulting in colors red, blue and green from the minerals that accumulated. Drinking some Red Bull for the Valley of Tears. But the way to the Valley of Tears is not easy at all. You have to follow the Gran Canaria 210 to get there, which includes some pretty steep climbs. This is not the Valley of Tears. What? No, it's worse. The scenery is incredible. It gives you this feeling like end of the world, lost in time, sense of isolation. But these unrelenting gradients really makes you wanna quit sometimes. of tears as uh, a standalone base is 11.1 kilometers with average percent gradient of 8% and up to 20% as you can see. If you want to find the Valley of Tears you should look for GC606, its official name, Carretera to El Carrizal. The first part of the climb is called the wall. It's really like a wall with more than 20% gradient. is very tough. It really challenges you and makes you reach your limits. I really wanted to cry sometimes and I wonder can I finish it? But at the end, I don't know, somehow we got to the top. At the summit of the Valley of Tears there is this sense of accomplishment, having conquered one of my bucket list climbs and recompensated with these stunning views of the mountains of Gran Canaria. But then it's time to go back to Roque Nublo, so keep on climbing.
top of the Valley of Tears, top of Roquenublo, an amazing sunset, and then it was time to descend back to our accommodation in the dark. Oof, that was a tough climb. Thanks for watching, amigos. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button below. It really helps to support the channel. I will bring more Gran Canaria epic rides in the coming weeks, so stay tuned. See you soon and ride the bus until the next time.